Hi, um, today my student asked me about this question. At first, I thought this is a very simple question, but I do a new halfway. Um, I myself also stuck for a while, so I decided to make a short video to discuss about these questions. They asked us to find the coordinates uh, of the point on the curve where the gradient is 5 over 4. All of us know the gradient actually means dy dx, isn't it? That means when dy dx equals to 5 over 4, when you see the equation like this, you already know you want to use the quotient rule. So in order to use the quotient rule, you need to identify the top must be u, bottom must be v. Alright, this is u and v. So what is the quotient rule for dy dx here? It's basically v du dx or differentiate u minus u differentiate v over v squared, isn't it? So right now, I want to use this formula for this question and see what happened here. Okay, my v is the whole thing, square root x plus 1. When I differentiate u, right, this one, you better, you multiply the 2 into it. So you differentiate 2x minus 10, actually give you 2, isn't it? Then you multiply 2. Minus, you copy the u, which, which is 2x minus 5. Then you differentiate the v. Okay, v is basically is x plus 1 power of 1 over 2, isn't it? So if I, dif if I differentiate the v, 1 over 2 need to move to the front. And then the whole thing minus 1, isn't it? Negative half. And then differentiate inside, give us 1. So this thing, if I want to uh, further, further simplify, this is 1 over 2 square root x plus 1, isn't it? Okay, so I will multiply. Since top is 1, I will just over 2 square root x plus 1. This is what happened when I multiply it. And 2 and 2, I will simplify. It. Divided by v square. Uh, my v is square root x plus 1 square and square and square root later we can cancel out lah. so this is 5 over 4 right then i want to uh, solve this one further so this one denominator is 1 so i want to make sure they have the same denominator so i will just um, multiply the x square root x plus 1 for top and bottom so if i multiply the top you should be able to see the whole thing is actually square already right because i multiply one more time for the square root x plus 1. So square and square root, I cancel out. Okay, so this is what I left on the top. This is 2 multiplied x plus 1 is 2x plus 2 minus x minus 5 over square root x plus 1 over x plus 1 equals to 5 over 4. All right, since this is a fraction, so we can multiply this denominator into this denominator, right? And then this is something like... um. Okay, so I, let me simplify first. So basically, this is, imagine, um, A over square root B over B. Okay, let's say if I want to solve this one, right, I will get A over B square root B. Okay, B is power 1. Square root B is power half. So this one basically is B power of, plus together will be 3 over 2, isn't it? So if you understand this logic, right, this is what I want to change here. So if I multiply x plus 1 into the, this denominator, I actually have x plus 1 power 1 multiply x plus 1 power half. So I can plus them together, become x plus 1 power of 3 over 2. Okay, okay now I want to further simplify um, the numerator. So the numerator is basically 2x minus 1x is 1x. 2 minus negative 5 become plus 5. So it's 7. So the top, I actually can get x plus 7. Alright, now this equation seems easier but actually quite hard to solve because you have different power here. 3 over 2 and this is power 1. And this is 5 over 4 also is just a normal number. So in order to solve this one, right, I need to go one step further, uh, which is I need to square both sides to get rid of the square root. Okay, so here I will get x plus 7 square. Bottom, uh, I will get x plus 1 power of 3 equals to 25 over 60. Until now, it's still not so simple because why? Because you have a cubic equation. So let's expand this one. So this one is basically um is x squared plus 14x plus 49. This one, if I expand, I can use the binomial expansion and then I should get um, some value I want. So this one, I, I guess I get uh, x cubed plus 3x squared 
plus 3x plus 1. Okay, 25, 60. Okay, if you're not sure how to do the binomial expansion, you can just multiply the x plus 1 for 3 times. Okay, then I want to cross over multiply. The number will go a bit crazy, but just use a calculator, right? Just type 60. Um, cross over multiply, 2224x plus 49 times 60. So it's 784. Then 25 multiply all of them. Okay, then I will make it equal to zero and then I'm trying to solve this cubic equation. All right, this thing I solved already. Then 75, if I minus 16, I should get 59 x power of 2. Solve already. Then this one I have 75x. I want to minus 224x. So I have minus 149x. Solve already. Then lastly is a number 25 minus 784 is ne negative 759. All right. In order to solve this um, cubic equation, definitely I can play some cheat. Um, what I want to do is I need to find a factor for 759. Yeah, this number is quite big. So I will use the prime factorization in this function of this calculator. You should be able to see the word fact, isn't it? So I will do enter first, then I do shift fact. So I know basically the 759 is 3 multiply 11 multiply 23. So all these are the factor of 759. So definitely I will choose a smaller number to try it out. So Yep, this is factor theorem. I will let fx equals to the, this whole equation. I will just copy it real quick. Then I will try to insert the 3 into it, see whether I will get 0 or not. So this one is uh, 25, 27, plus 55, 9, minus 1, 4, 3, and minus 7, 5, 9. Okay, so plus 59 times 9 minus 149 times 3 minus 759. Okay, I get 0. If I get 0, factor theorem tell me that. Therefore, x minus 3 is the factor of fx. So what I do next is I will do the long divisions uh, for this equation to find out uh, the quadratic uh, function. So this is long division in the factor theorem topics. If you haven't learned factor theorem and remainder theorem, you might not know what's going on here. So I divide by x minus 3. I want to get this thing. So here is I will do 25x squared. So 25x cubed minus um, 75x squared. So here I have the minus 59 plus 75. I will get 100 134x squared minus 149x. So here I will say 134x. So 134x squared. 134 times 3. I will get minus 402x. Here I have the invisible minus, isn't it? So this thing gone ready, then minus. But this one will become plus. So negative 149 will plus 402. So it's 253x minus 759. So I will plus 253. So I get 253x minus times 3. So I get 759. So remainder is 0. Yeah, as expected since x minus 3 is a factor. So therefore, I know the fx is basically formed by this one multiply this one, isn't it? And fx is equal to 0 at the uh, equation just now. So therefore, I will just continue solve. So since x minus 3, 25x squared plus 134x plus 253 equals 0. One of the x answer is 3. And this one, uh, definitely, if you do the b squared minus 4ac, you know here don't have any other answer already. But if you not believe me, you can just go to the equation here, polynomial power 2. You insert this one, 25, 134, 253. And you can see the calculator will come out the i. I is for the imaginary number, uh, which is, uh, uh, you will learn it in the complex number topics. 
Okay, but here I don't want to cover so much. So here have no solution here. Has no further solution. So your only solution here will be x equals to 3. So then I come back to the, this question at the very beginning because they asked us to find a coordinate. Now the only challenging part is by solving this equation. Yeah, so eventually if I get x equals to 3, it's not hard for me to get a y, isn't it? Because I have the y equation here. When x equals to 3, my y is 2, 3 minus 5 over square root 3 plus 1. My y is basically, this is negative 2, negative 4 over, this is 2. So y is negative 2. So the coordinates will be 3, negative 2. Okay, so yeah, so it's quite challenging uh, on solving this kind of equation. At first I thought like, maybe I can use log or simple indices way to solve it. But I end up it's, it's quite tough uh, using log to solve it. If any one of you know any faster way, yeah, please post a, at the comment section below. So here, I can actually use my calculator to check for the answer. So if I have x plus 7, bottom is basically what? x plus 1 and power of 3 over 2 is equals to alpha soft equals to 5 over 4. I believe the calculator should be able to tell me if I do shift soft here, and then I I predict I will get any positive value. I put a 10 here. This 10 is doesn't matter. A lot of students ask me, sir, how do you get the 10 here? You can try any number, 10, 5, 2, or even any negative number. You can type any value here. Uh, because when the x only have one answer, right, this value 10 here, it doesn't matter. But when x have multiple answers, then we need to insert the, this value carefully. Okay, enter. Yeah, you can see the calculator actually tells us x is equal to 3. Okay, so yeah, so I'm very confident uh, my, my final answer here is correct. Alright, anyways, I, I hope you find these uh, short videos helpful to you. Yeah, and at the same time, I help you to revise on the question rule in differentiation topic. Alright, I will see you guys around at, uh, in my YouTube channel. Alright, bye-bye.